Israel's war with Hamas has reached the southern suburbs of Beirut. By targeting Salah Aruri, the group's main leader in Lebanon, in the political and military stronghold of Hezbollah, Israel crossed a line. The Lebanese armed group's leader says the crime won't go unpunished. This was a serious incident, a crime. They hit Beirut's southern suburb for the first time since 2006. This was an Israeli message, even though it said it wasn't targeting Hezbollah in Lebanon. Who believes that? Cowards believe that. Hezbollah is already at war with Israel along Lebanon's southern border, where they have been exchanging cross-border fire. The Lebanese group opened a front to help relieve its ally Hamas in Gaza. But according to Nasrallah, the fighting will continue to remain calculated and confined to the border. That could change if Israel launches all-out war. Whoever thinks of a war with us, in one word, he will regret it, because a war with us will be costly. Until now, we are taking into consideration the situation in Lebanon and national interests. But if war is launched against Lebanon, it will be in the interest of Lebanon that we enter the war with our full military capabilities. Hezbollah's strategy has been a delicate balance of waging a war without waging one that could cause Lebanon, already in financial ruin, to pay a high price. Israel has threatened to turn Beirut into another Gaza. Tuesday's strike was the first time Israel hit the Lebanese capital since its last war with Hezbollah in 2006. It was also the first time Israel hit so deep inside the country since its latest round of hostilities with the group, triggered by the war in Gaza, began three months ago. Israel has been threatening a large-scale operation in Lebanon if Hezbollah doesn't pull back from the border. Aruri's assassination doesn't appear to be a provocation, but it violated the rules of engagement, which means Hezbollah will need to restore its deterrence. Zanakhader Al Jazeera, Beirut. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.